What's happening, PD peeps? Today, I'm going to show you how to fill in the sides of vertical video using the PowerDirector Mobile Video Editor app. If you're new to my channel and you want to learn how to use PowerDirector, click the subscribe button and click on the bell to get notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. If you have Android or iPhone video that was filmed in a vertical position and it has black bars on the sides, filling in the sides with video or background colors will improve how it looks when produced to a widescreen or a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. So let's fill her up. First thing that you want to do is place your video footage onto the timeline. So you want to go to the media icon. Then you want to go and make sure that you're on the video tab. You want to go to the location on your device where your video is. You want to tap on that video and then you want to tap on the plus sign. It'll add it to your timeline right where your playhead is. Then you want to tap back and you want to tap back. So we're going to go ahead and drag this to a position where we can see everything pretty well. Now you want to tap on the video and there should be an option called fit and fill. When you tap on that, It'll go ahead and give you three options at the bottom. So the first one is fit, then you got fill, and then you got background. So we're going to go ahead and tap on fit, and then we're going to tap on background. Now from here, you got blur or you got color. So if you tap blur, what happens is blur places a blurred out duplicate of the original video behind your footage to help fill out the screen. And then you have a slider over here on the right and you can use your slider to decrease the amount of blur or you can increase the amount of blur. It's really up to you how you like the look. You can slide it wherever you want to get your slide on. The other option down here is color. So if you tap on color, then you can choose between any of these colors on here. So let's say that we choose this gradient color here. We could tap on that and then the background is now this gradient color. Now the slider on the right now changes to the position of the gradient. So if you move it, you'll notice that the gradient changes and it moves to different positions as you move the slider. So if you want the gradient coming from one direction to the other, you can make those changes on there really easily. Then you also have some colors here that don't have any gradient. So if you tap on one of these colors, you'll see that the slider is gone but you have this solid color without a gradient that you can choose from as well. So we're gonna go ahead and tap on back and you can tap on blur. If you go ahead and tap back again and you pick fill, what fill does is it zooms in to fill in the screen. So using this option will cause part of the video to be outside of the visible area. So when you select fill, you can't use the background option. You can't do any blurring or anything like that because the screen's already filled in. So the best option really is to do fit. And then you can hit background and choose whether you want a blur or anything else on here. And once you're done, you just hit back and you hit back again. This will take you back to the main screen. And now we got blurry sides. If you like what you see, I'll leave a link to try out Power Director Mobile in the video description. I know you want more power director love, so be sure to click on these videos to watch more of my content and smash my logo to subscribe. Don't forget to drop me a comment and a like down below.